In this video, we're going to do a long overdue unboxing. Actually, unbagging and then unboxing, because there's a box in here. Now, this product is an interesting product. It's an all-in-one wall charging system that actually has an iPhone slash iPod charging dock on it and LED nightlight. And this device comes from the fine folks at Best Tech. And if you want to check out their other products, you can go to bestechltd.com. That's B-E-S-T-E-K-L-T-D.com. And I'll put a link in the description down below. And if you go to their website, you can check out everything that they offer. If you want to buy any of their products, you can get them from Amazon.com. So let's open this thing up. I don't think I'm going to need my trusty cutter. I've got my trusty scissors here. And let's cut this bag open. And slide the box out here. So here we go, Best Tech wall charging station. And I'm interested to see what this entails here. Because like I said, it's supposedly a dock, night light, and all that good stuff. And I think I might actually need my cutter for this. So let me go grab that. Here we go. And let's open this up here. There we go. Let's see what this thing looks like. So inside the box here, other than the device itself, you have the instructions, wall charging station. It says, description, the surge protector and charging station replaces a single U.S. standard wall outlet with six U.S. outlets, rated to a cumulative total of 1,875 watts. It also includes four USB ports, two of which have an output of 2.1 amps, while the remaining ports are rated at 1.0 amps and one iPhone slash iPod charging dock. The USB circuits are equipped with an overload protection and short circuit protection suitable for cell phones, laptops, iPods, iPhones, digital cameras, digital electronics, etc. So let's take a look at this. And let's pull it out of the plastic here, put that to the side. And let's get it out of here. It's actually a nice looking device. If you can see, it's a glossy white plastic with your Best Tech branding up here. And you have this clear plastic top here that actually pivots outward, as you can see there. It's in a little track. And that covers all your USB ports up here because it does plug into the wall back here. And it looks like you would want to replace your wall cover with this. So you actually have a screw that screws it into place. And that goes through there. So you have two indicator lights down here, your AC indicator and your USB indicator. And you have a light switch here where you turn on and off the night light, which we'll see when we actually put this into use where that night light comes from. It might be behind here. Actually, it's down here. There we go. So let's take a quick tour of the device. Up top, you have four USB ports, two with the higher amperage and two with the lower amperage. You have your older style iPod dock or iPhone dock down there. As you might know, the newer products have moved on to the lightning connector, but the majority of the Apple products out there right now use this connector, and I actually have two devices that can use it. So you can access it through here, just by, because there's a cutout here from the clear plastic where you can just put it right in there. And of course you could do it that way too if you have these USB ports in use. And again, that covers them up from dust. On the left side of the device, you have three outlets. On the right side of the device, you also have three outlets. 
Now, currently you can get this on Amazon.com for $19.19. .19. So why don't we try this out and see how it works. So here it is installed on the wall and the best tech, as you can see, does light up. But the night light is on the bottom. So if you turn it on, you have a little light showing towards the baseboard, which is actually pretty cool. Let's turn that off. Now, this plugged in here is actually the camera. The camera battery is low on juice, so I'm actually running it off of the wall power. And so you can see it's working just fine. Now, I do have this mounted with the screw. So behind here is the outlet that it uses, and the bottom outlet it doesn't use at all. It does cover it up, though. So let me see if I can zoom back a little bit and I'm gonna grab my iPod and just plug it in the dock up here and see if it charges. Now, the thing that's really cool about this is that it seems like this space up here for the iPod dock is pretty large, so it should accommodate all of your generations of iProducts, except for, of course, the newer ones, which use the lightning connector. But let me just plug this in up here right into the dock and as you can see right away the iPod lights up and it is charging up there. Now your indicator lights down here, your AC and your USB are lit up even though there's nothing plugged into them. Well actually I do have the AC plugged in but I don't have anything plugged into the USB ports. So we're going to use the iPod again and expose the ports up here. So we're going to plug it in there and see how that works. Now obviously if I was going to be charging this I would use the iPod dock but I'm just using this for demonstration purposes to show you that if your device is not an iDevice you can still use this charger here. So let's just plug it in here and you can see up top there that it's charging. And of course you do have the two different amperages. You have the 1 and the 2.1 one. So there you go. So it's actually a really nice device. It serves as a surge protector and it has a couple little bells and whistles on there above and beyond that. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.